How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport and welcome to another Harbor Freight review video. So this is something I wanted to try out for quite some time and a Memorial Day sale just hit. So I went ahead and picked it up, got it for 25% off. These are going for I think 119 regularly so that brought it down to around 90 bucks. Of course if you add warranty and stuff like that it'll go up a little bit plus tax depending on where you live. So expect to spend right around 100 bucks if you get it on sale and obviously about 119 plus tax if you just pick it up. So look for those sales. Now, now, with that said, I've been wanting to use this for quite some time, um, and then Harbor Freight came out with theirs. I hadn't seen theirs um, until recently, so I was shopping in there, saw this on the shelves, and said I'm going to wait for a sale and go ahead and pick it up, so I did. We're going to go ahead and open this up, and I'm going to talk about what's in the box, but we have our project over here. It's a 1997 Mercedes CL600 that happened to have a water leak in it and damaged some things, and the carpet uh, got ruined inside. So we want to go ahead and try to clean all that nastiness off the carpet. There was a little bit of dry mold in there now, and uh, I want to test it on that. And then I want to test it on the rims, because the rims are pretty dirty too. Now, there's a ton of other uses for this, but I just want to test it out on those couple of things that I have right in front of me. So let's go ahead and open up this box, look at what's inside, and then I'll give you guys my honest opinion on it for normal, everyday use. Of course, I'm going to be using it on normal, everyday car stuff. So let's get this thing opened up and see what it does. So here's the Central Machinery 1500-watt steam cleaner kit. It is item number 63042, and it is sold at Harbor Freight. This thing comes with quite an assortment of different items like brushes, mop heads, and other items that you can use for all your types of cleaning. Let's go ahead and break open the box and look at all the things it comes with and get it set up so we can show you exactly how it works. Well guys, upon opening the box, you'll see there's a ton of attachments that come with this. And if you open up your instructions, that first page is gonna show you everything that comes with it. Now you might freak out at first not seeing all the little brushes that seem to be hidden in here. So we'll be opening that up in just a second. But first thing you wanna do obviously is make sure you've got all of your attachments, which we're gonna double check. Uh, I believe they're all there though. And this gives you an idea of what each one of these are. Like I had no idea that there was a squeegee attachment uh, just looking at the pieces down there. And then I went back and looked and said, oh, there it is. So make sure you look over this, read all the instructions all the way through. I wanna point out some key things. I was hoping that maybe I could throw some um, degreaser into this and you do not want to throw any chemicals into this and you do want to use only distilled water. So we're going to go pick up some distilled water. Uh, and then the other key thing here I notice is uh, it gives you a cup. Make sure you only add 27 ounces at a time. And when you go to add more water, make sure the steamer is completely cool. That's very important. You don't want to open it up and have it explode in your face. Uh, it can be very dangerous when it's under pressure and it's hot. So make sure you cool it down before adding any more water and empty out all the water that's in there so you don't overfill it. Outside of that kind of uh, basic instructions on how to use it, put it together, I'm going to skim through those. I'm going to use some of the attachments, like I said, I want to go through them, uh, and we're going to have some fun with this. So let me go ahead and grab some distilled water, come back, and we'll start putting this thing together. All right, I've got everything laid out, and you guys can see there's a ton of attachments, some really cool things you can do with this thing. We're going to stick with this, this basic setup right here to do our carpets. Uh, I went ahead and got some distilled water. We're not going to top it off, but we're going to put about uh, 650 milliliters into it. I'll show you guys how you can add the water in just a second and uh, we'll probably stick with this setup for doing the wheels as well because I want to clean the wheels but one of the really neat ones over here you've got uh, some stuff that you can definitely use on your engine like this one here uh, this little scrubber right here so I'm excited about trying to steam out the engine bay of one of my cars as well not gonna do that on this video but I've got a lot of projects I can use this for I just want to test out a couple things I've got right in front of me so let's go ahead and get set up and start with the carpet Okay, let's go ahead and start by adding our water. With your uh, filler cap here, you've got to push down. It says push and turn. So you want to hold it down and turn until it reaches the top, and then you can just screw it off, and that's kind of a safety there. It does come with a little funnel for adding our water. So we're going to go ahead and use that funnel. We're just going to fill it with, like I said, I think I had about 650 milliliters of distilled water in here. Just make sure you don't overfill it. I think it said, what, 780 uh, is the max amount you want to add. So we're just going under that. So once that's topped off, to add your cap back on, you just turn it. You don't need to push down because it's going to 
put that safety part on there once you get it completely screwed down. And to remove it again, you will have to push down while turning it. So once you turn it to where it can't, it spins all the way down, you're good. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and try it out. Alrighty, just a heads up, when you plug it in, you're gonna get a green on light, and this is gonna be red. Now, this is not on right now. It's hard to tell on this lighting, but it took about 10 minutes to get to full capacity. On your trigger here, you have a safety switch that you gotta slide to the other side in order to be able to pull the trigger. Just a heads up when setting this up. But let's go ahead and jump inside and steam clean. All right, so you guys can see how uh, dirty this carpet is. Went ahead and slide my safety over. You guys can see there it's pulling up a lot of the dirt without any chemicals, which is what I wanted to try first, because if you can do this without chemicals, that's a big benefit. And you can see how well it's steaming. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. Good thing is it's gonna kill all this bacteria that was in here, so. That's pretty impressive. This is coming out pretty clean. You can see all that nasty gunk and uh, mold buildup that was in there. It came out. Okay guys, so next, let's go ahead and try it out on these rims without using any type of cleaner degreaser. We're just gonna use the steamer and see how that comes out.
right, guys, go ahead and check this out. This is just steaming, no chemicals, no cleaner, and just wiping it down with a towel. And you guys saw how dirty it was before. The main thing here is we were able to kill off all that bacteria mold before it grew any further. We did dry this whole car out. As I mentioned, this one had a, a water leak on the inside, so it got really filled up with water. I'll show you guys now what it used to look like. An idea of how much water is down here. So I need to get these carpetings out as soon as I can. And then I went ahead and used this other Harbor Freight device here, this Bauer vacuum. Now I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight. I just like some of their tools. There's things that I think are absolutely terrible and some of their stuff I think is great for the price. This vacuum right here is great. Uh, I think it's the four gallon, I believe. Um, and then the steamer seems to be working really good. Let's go ahead and take, take a look at the rims. Okay guys, as you saw, I went ahead and cleaned one of the areas with just the steam cleaner and I was very shocked at how easily some of this grime came off because I've cleaned these rims down many times in the past and I've always used this super clean here with a scrub brush and then a pressure washer and I can usually get them pretty clean. I wanted to test out uh, with less of this product here and more of the steaming. That seemed to be the best combo. At the end, what I ended up doing was squirting some of this right onto that scrub steamer and kind of going in there and I use so much less cleaner than I normally do which is pretty much the goal here is to eliminate or use very minimal cleaner because this stuff's expensive and it's not great for the environment so I'm trying to eliminate it as much as I can so with all that out of the way let's go ahead and pull the steamer off the side and talk more about it okay guys I went ahead and pulled everything out here so I can go over everything give you guys my overall impression and talk about some of the things that I might have missed one of those is this thing has an eight foot hose which came in super handy when cleaning down this car I was able to pull it in and out, go all the way around the car, and I think it has about a 12-foot cord on there, which both are amazing. Sometimes they, uh, they have these products with super short cords and super short uh, hoses on them, and I hate that. So that was a really good thing about this. Um, I would use this thing every day. This thing came in very handy. It worked very well. Now, I don't have a true comparison. I've never owned another steamer, but for the price, I think this one is very good. It comes with tons of attachments. It took about 10 minutes to heat up. Um, I used it probably 30 minutes and didn't run out of any water and it says it will last about 45 minutes on a full tank I truly believe that and it heated up pretty fast like I said so overall I'd have to say I'd give this thing about an 8 out of 10 and I would say it only loses really because it's a little expensive for something that you're gonna use maybe once in a while for me I'm gonna use it all the time so it is going to be a big benefit any questions you guys have or any concerns, I'm going to hold on to this thing for quite some time. So even a few years down the road, if you want to ask me how it's doing or how much I like it, I will absolutely fill you in. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.